Hello, my name is Charles Manal, and it's a great honor to be standing here today. Before I begin, I'd like to thank the people that allowed me the opportunity to take your time for the next six to eight minutes. <laughs> Buckle in. <clears throat> uh, first off, I'd like to thank my family for encouraging me and giving me the opportunity to attend Williams and graduate with these fine people to my left. Uh, and next, I'd like to thank the teachers and administration for preparing my classmates and myself for our next journey. And finally, of course, I'd like to thank my peers for, uh, for electing me to speak before you all today. And don't worry, you will regret it. <laughs> <clears throat> As Che Guevara once said, the revolution is not an apple that falls when it is ripe. You have to make it fall. Mark my words, the pro- Sorry, this is the wrong speech. <laughs> Kanye West once said, <laughs> uh, believe in your flyness, conquer your shyness. I couldn't agree more. So here we are. It's been a bit of a ride for us all. You, you know, it's never easy to make a transition like this, moving from one place to another, having to drop all but your memories in order to move on to other pastures. Yeah, I remember the last time that happened to me. I was a quiet sophomore when I transferred to Williams. You may remember me as the guy who clumsily stumbled into the library every lunch period, a little too scared to talk. It took a little while, but uh, thankfully I managed to believe in my flyness and conquer that ever-present shyness that seemed to follow me everywhere but Williams. But what really changed about me? Why am I the guy? I don't know. I feel as though I really managed to come into my own thanks to my peers and teachers. I guess it's sort of like I was one ingredient in a cake with 48 other ingredients. Yeah, I'm about to make an analogy and I'm really sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this cake was composed of 49 distinct parts, uh, all fine on their own, taking a bit of time to melt together to make something great. These individuals play off one another. They hold their own merits and as individuals they can perform great tasks. An egg can be an omelet, a bit of flour can become bread. But only that rare, delicious mixture of those ingredients, amongst others, creates a dish so desired and unique that Marie Antoinette should joke about it. <laughs> I've got to say, I'm happy to have been one of those ingredients. Something that Williams really taught me in time was that I had my own merits. I never could have imagined myself speaking before you all today. I mean, geez, just years ago I was too scared to raise my hand in class. Maybe it's because I was stressed. Well. You know what they say about what it is to be stressed. Hoover once said, stories aren't the icing on the cake. They are the cake. Who that guy was, I don't know, but he certainly had a point there. This same cake has some stories, a few of which can give a little insight on the life of my class. <laughs> For example, when faced with the peculiar challenge of creating an entire holiday assembly in mere hours, together we formed a song on a single bus ride. And while that song had to be edited a bit, pushing an entire assembly a week back, we still did it. <laughs> in the face of adverse circumstances during our last spirit weeks, when our spirit, our power, was called into question, we did not quit. No. We screamed our lungs out like banshees, for we as a class are united. Under our great banner of Bob Marley, in that lounge that someday we will all long to return to, no ill will was permitted to live. No. While our music may have been loud, our clothing not always to code and our quarters not always clean, we maintain a very peaceful and altruistic environment. If you were ever in need of a calculator, study tips, perhaps a pleasant joke, a member of our class was always there. I'm not quite sure what I'll do at college without that space where I know I'm always welcome, but I know the best things in life have yet to come. In spending so much time with my class, I feel as though I've developed a sort of nostalgia for events that I myself was not present for. Whether it be middle school halls, Deer Lake, gym class with Mr. Wagner, or Spanish one with Senora Ramirez, there's so much I wish I could have experienced, but I'm truly thankful for that which I was here for, despite joining my friends so close to this end. This event that will possibly be our last time seeing each other. I have no doubt that Williams will always remember this class of 2016 as a group of punctual, cleanly, and <laughs> rule of 
law-abiding students. <clears throat> but seriously, whether it be one student's knack for impersonating Kendall Jenner, another's madness for CrossFit, or even one's ability to channel a particular teacher's personality, these folks are full of surprises. Today marks the beginning of an entirely new chapter in our lives, a moment in which every student here has waited patiently for for months, somewhat patiently. Having now cleaned out our cubbies of the last high school books we will ever own, we've turned over our ownership of our sanctuary to the next group of smart, funny, often crazy kids. Good luck, teachers. Uh, and I keep talking about the end. Um, and to make use of another quotation, a fine quotation, Kanye, one should be able to take negatives and flip them into positives. Despite the fact that we'll all be spreading out across this world, I doubt today will be the last time we see each other. Despite our varying interests, all of us have a desire to make major changes in the world. Changes that run parallel, perpendicular, all around. Changes that will intersect, maybe only briefly, but enough that perhaps someday, sitting in a boardroom, working in a surgical wing, a dis on a distant shore perhaps, a, in a courtroom, you'll find a Williams alum. So thank you, my friends, the class of 2016, for everything we've experienced together. And to end on a quotation of Lao I say, amidst worldly comings and goings, observe endings become beginnings. Thank you. Thank you.